Let's just show you how well this plane is packaged and how huge it is. This is going to be awesome when it's put together. So let's just get to it. So here is all the parts laid out. As you can see, those wings are huge. So the plan of attack is to take the rudder, go ahead and glue it on and let the glue sit. And as it sits, we're gonna prep the wheels to the landing gear or struts. And then we're going to work on the wings themselves. By the time we get all that done, the rudder will be cured and we can start installing the motor and the wings and finish putting everything together. So, let's get this party started. So what you want to do first is we have a screw that goes on the bottom here to help act as a uh, anchor point for the tail wheel and just eyeball where the CA hinges go and start just kind of taking a, <clears throat> you can take a, um, I've got a steel ruler and what I've done is I'll just go in here and just, you can find where the C hinges go, like right there. So then I'll just kind of, I just want to open these up a little bit just to get a nice, oh, there's that one. Cause you really can't see them because that they're painted over. And then what I'll do is go back and let's see here, we got this one. Got that one. Boom. Right. And just pull this guy out just a little bit like that. Right. That way we have articulation of the rudder. Then I'll lay the fuse nose down and use thin CA and one of these applicators and then just I'll probably do two uh, two coats if you will if you want to call it that and just let it sit then we'll move on to the landing gear and the wings So just to show here how I've got the wires for the ESC, I do not want to impede airflow through here, so this is why I got it wrapped around. Take a zip tie and just leave a little bit of length, about an inch and a half, that you normally would cut at to make it flush with a locking mechanism, and just push into the foam with some glue. Foam tack is what I use, and it will hold the wires in place. So now we just add on the nose piece. You have two screws one there one there and then we'll add on the prop so you'll add your two screws into the cowl and then you will have your your collet adapter goes on followed by your spinner your prop and then your nut I just have an a, adjustable wrench and then your spinner cap will go on and then this screw is a is a 1.5 millimeter. So this that goes on just like so. Not to be too tight. Now she's she's ready. So let's wrap this up. The Carbon Z Cub SS 2.1 meter. What do I think about it? What's a great plane? I absolutely love this plane. I'm not real big into cubs, but for that time where I just want to like relax and just fly, it's kind of like getting your car and just cruising and just and just having fun. This is the plane. However, flat on a 6S battery, 
and you can do some pretty cool aerobatic moves like knife edge, uh, do great hammerheads. And what I like about this plane is it also has the ability to, you can do full span ailerons, which I want to do, I haven't done that yet, and I want to get into like some flaperons. But that'd be another video. But this plane is just huge. I can't get over how big this thing is. But it flies like a kitten. Now, me personally, I started off with a Carbon Cub S Plus, which is the yellow and gray that has a GPS and the full safe system where it's the beginner, intermediate, intermediate and expert. That's what I used to fly. That's what's got me into the hobby. That's what I learned on. This plane is a great first plane to get into the big size, the giant birds. However, it's not by no means a beginner plane. Yes, it does have safe, and you can do a bank angle about 90 degrees before safe limits you. And you can't go inverted with safe on, but you still have full control of the plane. You just can't go inverted. But I just can't get over like how fun this Cub is. Like I've got a, a friend of mine that has a Flex Cub, and, and it's great. But it's expensive, but it is absolutely great. I love watching them fly it. And this... I won't say that this can do all the stuff that it, that the flex can do, but it's just it's just fun. It is just a good time, bunch of fun. Um, what I really do love is the the wheels and the suspension because it's just it's just huge, and it can take an absolute beating, right? Also, for if you me, I've got a truck, so I can just put those back in the truck and take it to the field if I want to. But I normally just fly it here at the house. You've got two pins here um, that just use a, uh, a cotter pin and one that's uh, on the fuse. You pop these four out and the wings will fold up. Take your two screws on each end and the servo leads, just disconnect those. The servo leads that are on the fuse are nice because they are held in by a, um, uh, they lock into a, a plastic piece as part of the actual fuse itself. So there's no hunting around trying to dig out the the server leaf in the fuse. I do fly this on 100% rates, and I do fly this with about 50% expo just to give me a nice little soft center. But getting up high, killing the throttle, full flaps, and just nose it down, just so you can try to get that the SOT, uh, STLO landing. It's fun, and that's why I want to get into the ailerons and flaperons, just to give me that that more um, capability in this. But you can't go wrong. This is this is a, a great plane, and I like it so much that I'm considering getting this assessment just because of the, I like I love the size, I love the presence in the air. Now with the takeoff flaps, you can if you roll into the throttle pretty aggressively, you can get can get up within about two lengths of the fuse. I don't know what that is as far as approximately you're looking about six to eight feet. Um, I've got the plastic prop steel. I've got a wooden prop, haven't ran it yet, but I want to um, run that prop because wooden props, they don't flex in the wind and they just get a better, uh, better authority as far as thrust goes. But all in all, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can stay on top of my new videos when they are released. And sorry that I'm sweating because it is, it's like 96 degrees out and it's 8.30 at night here in North Carolina. But take care guys and I'll catch you later.